Face Your Grace podcast, where women with ideas become entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Kate Nolan. And I'm Kimberly Cacavo. And today we are lucky to be joined by Kara Serrato. Kara is a San Diego-based entrepreneur. And wait till you hear what she has to tell us. Welcome to the show, Kara. Thanks for having me, girls. We're so Thank happy you. you're here. Thank you. <laughs> So why don't we start? We're okay. going to just say some fun. We're going to ask you some we fun questions. Well, we think they're fun, but they're sort of icebreaker questions okay. so that the people listening can get to know you better. We can get to know you better and then Perfect. we can really dive into the other stuff. But tell us, what is your greatest strength? I would say being able to talk to people. I have never met a stranger. I so. love that. I mean, it's true because I think I when when I met you for the first time, I felt like we were friends yeah. immediately. Yeah. So you do a very yeah. good job of that. Thanks. That's just, amazing. Just and fun. so good for the business you're in. For sure. You know, just being yeah. approachable, I guess. Right? Yeah. Being willing Which is to huge. talk to people. Yeah. My mm. mom's like that. I mean, my <laughs> mom's never bit. met a stranger. I mean, some people might be a little afraid of that, but right? Yeah, yeah. we've had lots of interesting people at the Thanksgiving table because <laughs> she's never met a stranger. That <laughs> <laughs> was welcome. Yeah. Okay, so what's your biggest accomplishment? Well, um, my son, first, I have a couple. So, but per, on a personal level, my son, of course. And how old is he? 16. Okay. Oh, he's that's amazing. an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. That is an he's accomplishment. amazing. He's a good person. He's a good oh, human. Oh, how great is that? Yes. And I'd say um, business wise, I had, um, which we'll get into the business stuff, but um, you know the company Ruggable? Yes. Very large company. Uh, they became a client of mine. In amazing. 2020. And throughout Congratulations. 2021. Congratulations. That was pretty exciting. That is phenomenal. That was pretty exciting. I get all their ads on Instagram. I'm right. always so tempted. Now everyone listening is going to get all the ads too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, we hopefully we'll get all your ads. So right. Let's, let's talk there about that in a minute. Right? Yeah. But okay. So final fun question is tell us. Super fun. This is, yeah. Well, and actually this is sort of an interesting question because I think for a lot of women and especially women entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. I think this is the like vulnerable moment, right? So tell <laughs> us. What is one thing that no one else knows about you, but that now you're finally feeling confident enough to share that? And you want to tell us. And you want to tell us too, of course. I mean, there might be a lot of things that no one knows about you. Okay, but, let yeah. me keep it appropriate, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, anybody that does know me knows that I can't dance, but I really want to. Like there's yeah. moves inside that don't know how to come out. So something <laughs> like that I've been it? wanting to share, I recently shared with my family is I'm like, I'm going to take dance lessons. I just got to, I got to do this. That yeah. was great. That, and I you know should. what? I think it's going to come out. You're going to be able to do it. Out. Yeah. You got to listen to some prints. Yeah. <laughs> prints. Okay. The yeah. sexiest they want to human dance. ever. Very true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. We're learning something about That's Kimberly something right now. That's something that no one knew. I'm like, my husband knew. Okay. She's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the question. <laughs> so dancing is something that you wanted to always do? Fun. Okay. I always have music on. I'm like, I just want I just want the moves. There's, mm -hmm. there's moves mm -hmm. inside of here. They just don't know how to, they don't know how to come out. Well, maybe we need to do that. You want to showcase them? <laughs> yeah. She'll sing. You can dance. Yeah. Oh yeah. Drink I wine. can sing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. We're good. Yes. We're good. Yeah, right? okay, okay. So let's dive into your business. Let's talk about about you. Let's talk about your journey and all that went into that. So what led you to be an entrepreneur? Give us your backstory. Give us a little bit more so okay. we know where that all started. Backstory. So um, I had my son and I was a non-working stay-at-home mom by design nice. on purpose. Mm -hmm. And then when my son was three, I became a single mom, mm. but I was still a stay-at-home mom. Right. Okay. And then by the time he, a couple years later, uh, we had to have the conversation about um, it's time that you you need to do something. Right. And like, you know, my son was entering school and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't want to work nine to five. I cannot go back to that. You pay right. for daycare and everything else. And I had a, um, um, a friend of mine that I knew that had started a spa company or bought an existing spa company. He was trying to grow it and everything else. And he's like, she can work for the spa company. So we're doing all these different events and spa events and um, another friend of mine and I, who was non-working mom was like excited to like get back to the workforce. We're like, let's partner up together and do all these events together. And do you know what we should, you know, what goes with spa candles. We should sell candles at these events also. Cause he said, yeah, you can have a little side hustle. Sure. Whatever you want. Like as long as you're pushing my products, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, it started off as, you know, a little side thing. And then literally within six months of my friend launching his spa company and we we're having all these events, it, the spa company, the spa tanked? company tanked. 
And oh, um, did you have a lot of candle inventory? I had a decent amount of candle inventory, but mm -hmm. at that time, I at that point that I was really mm -hmm. in a position where I didn't necessarily want to work. It transitioned to where I'm like, oh, I have to work. Like I need to, mm -hmm. I have, you know, I bought my first condo by myself and That's I'm great. like, okay, I, yeah. I have to make this gotta work. Gotta pay the bills. I yeah. Gotta support. Yeah. School. Now he's in public school, but he was in private school. I'm like, gotta, you know, I gotta step this up. So. Yeah. So you just, that was the motivation. That was the total To motivation. really spearhead it. So tell us the name of the business then that you started. At that time, um, we were called Shop Chic Mommy. And love it. Which yeah. is very fitting. For those right? of you that are watching, yeah, you understand it. Chic mommy. For those of you listening, <laughs> she's very stylish and chic. Very. <laughs> Yeah. And a mommy. Well, casual, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, as time has gone on, because that was 10 years ago. And, but mm -hmm. I mean, then, then my business partner and I, once the spa product thing didn't last, she's like, actually, I really don't want to work or need to work. So I carried on a shop chic mommy and I would go participate in a lot of, I built my database on participating in local fundraisers and mm -hmm. charity events. And you'd set up the booth at the luncheons and the ladies would come out and shop. And, and all the holiday events. And all, yes, yeah. and you give a percentage back of your sales. And so I built my database on that and just um, have just built a really loyal, awesome following. So, well, I was a customer. Yep. And um, I have to say, it was a great shopping experience. It was amazing. <laughs> because well, you, the way you packaged it, the way you personalized things, you made me look like a better well, mommy. Well, and you, and you found the solution for what you were looking for because she realized the opportunity that right. was happening. Teacher especially, gifts. Exactly, for teacher right. gifts in that particular instance. But certainly for women, right, they were looking for stuff like that. And you right. knew where to go, where moms would be that wanted to buy candles for their homes and all that. So, yes. But mm -hmm. then you were saying, you were just saying before we started this, that it's no longer a shop mm -hmm. chic mommy. It is. I went through a brand change. Okay. And it, it's still kind of going. But um. Um, Kara Collective. I'm like, Which I is great. Found, I'm like, again, like the loyal following. Shop Chic Mommy, I felt like it was just time for an update. Change. It was time for a change. Collective because you've also expanded your product line. I've expanded the product line and expanded my clientele into, you know, I kind of put it in the universe. I wanted to go out to service more like corporate clients. Right. Mm -hmm. And realtors are a huge niche for me doing their closing baskets or thank you gifts. Oh, or that's a great gifts. idea. And just other companies that want, so many people are sending out gifts and just wanted to, I want to elevate it. And so right. with that Shop Chic Mommy just kind of needed a. Right. Yeah. So that's right. Right. So you started a side hustle and you've even rebranded that. Now is it a small business? Is it what, is it, consume most of your day now? Yes. Does yeah. it consume most of your night? It can, it, well, of course, yeah. being an entrepreneur, but yeah. you know, um, it does, it's, it kind of doesn't sleep. However, um, they uh, never sleep. Those businesses never sleep. It we never just need to sleep. Sleeps, I know, no, I right? Know. But that's the fun part of it though, too, to yeah. be honest. I'm like, right. it's just who I am. It's kind of fun. No right. two days are the same, which Love is, it. you know, there's, you never know and Kimberly Picabo is going to give you a call and say, hey, you want to be on my podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. So what's your favorite part of then running that business? Um, well, no two days are the same. So there's so much, every day is mm -hmm. different and it's mm -hmm. fun and exciting and stressful and hard at times. But for the most part, I'm like, we're, I'm selling happy things and creating gifts and giving people experiences mm -hmm. that it's all happy. I, I was reminding myself that when it's having a tough day, I'm like, we sell fun things and make people really happy, even in sad times, because mm -hmm. we'll send sympathy gifts or you know right, healing right, gifts and right. you know just How try to uplifting and just try to bring joy to people's life on a daily basis. And or like we have a lot of we have our retail side of our company where people are buying the items for themselves. Right, right, know? right, and they're treating themselves to something and bringing yeah. joy within. And our, our their new own lives. our new um, motto is for gifts for home for you. So, oh, nice. Especially I think with. For women, yeah. Yeah, with yeah. women, that people are looking to like treat themselves more, or take it like buy the nice hand cream, light the candle, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's find terrific. that, buy find that time Turkish to pamper. Towels, like you know. Treat what do you wish that you knew when you first started Chic Mommy with your partner mm -hmm. that you know now? Even maybe not necessarily with the partner, but if I knew, you know, what I know now. I wish I had known how to delegate. 
Mm, and nice. I think that's something that... Who would you delegate to if you're the person running it? Your I'm, son? But, right. <laughs> yeah, stop doing your math. Get over right? here and wrap some oh baggages. Goodness. I mean, there's been countless like sleepless nights where I'm outside opening inventory. I'm like, gosh, we could have somebody else doing this in the morning. Right. My time would be better well spent focusing on my clients and right. making sure that mm-hmm. they're happy and follow up. And there's there's just a lot of it. Um, you know, I... That's great for everyone. There's though, a certain right? delegating, sure. knowing sure. when to delegate is well, such no, a well, you great do best. skill. I mean, and by the way, being an entrepreneur, I think, I mean, all of us understand that there's times where you're the one that's cleaning the toilet, you're the one that's emptying sure. the trash, you're the yeah. person that is mm. up late at night. Sounds like she's still having some issues having about having to do yes. all that <laughs> grace by grit. <laughs> See, you did it too. I remember yeah, we that both was a did humbling it. moment. Yeah, right. but we, we know you've done it, you do it all. Right. But there are certain times where you go, okay, wait, this is not like my time should be spent doing other things and you're paying people to do sure. things, right? So it's like, mm-hmm. where, what's their and, expertise? What should they be doing? Sure. And the synergy of having people helping you mm-hmm. is great. You know, yeah, no, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's greater fun. than one yeah. plus one is not two. It's more, you know, absolutely. absolutely. So yeah. Do it's you just, work, do you hire women? Like, do you hire moms? Yes, is that who you yeah, are? Okay. Female fr- and now some of like the, I, okay, so something that is an accomplishment also is that I actually, this year was the first time that I've been able to hire a first full-time employee. Amazing. So Congrats. Congratulations. super cool. Thank you. And it feels so, what so good. What does she do? Everything. <laughs> I love that. She's amazing. And you're You're right hand. She's She's amazing. delegating amazing. skills. Yes, like yes. But That's I mean, great. let me go back to like even all throughout the past 10 years, I have always found and people have always come to me like they maybe I've met them at an event or something or it's a friend of a friend they're like let me know if you ever need help I'm like careful what you say yeah right? you yeah. watch your mouth because your phone yeah because <laughs> I need help that's got a lot of our employees it's true yeah it's totally yeah. true yeah. yeah and um and then now some of like some of the awesome girls that I've worked with throughout the years or help me like part-time or like let me know when you're having the event I want to come to the event or I want to help you know um now they're Children, come help me, which I is love kind that. of great too. It's awesome. So and child labor, excellent. <laughs> well, we employed our kids. We right. did. Well, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a whole lot of stories with that. Yeah, but, right. Fun one, so. But I think you know, to your point, I think that's something that's really unique about women and entrepreneurship too, because. One thing that Kimberly and I love to talk about is how we love supporting other women For sure. on this journey, like whether it's somebody that's working with us or alongside us or in a different business where it's like, how do we get to the top together, right? right. It's not about sure. stepping on each other's shoulders to climb there. It's about like, let me hold your hand. Yeah. Like, it's how do we ground. do this? Exactly. And I think there's a really nice movement that's happened certainly over the last couple of years where that narrative is now at the forefront or certainly with right. what we're, who we're surrounding ourselves yeah, with. Right. But I think when you start to look ahead and you look at, okay, there's more women that are interested in starting businesses. There's women that are looking to you, Kara, that are going, I want to do that. Like, how do I get there? And that's what obviously what Face Your Grace is about and sharing right. those stories and giving women the tools so that they can do that. So they can become entrepreneurs. Well, right. So they can right. become those entrepreneurs. But I think it is about that camaraderie and knowing mm-hmm. that you shouldn't be afraid to ask somebody that's offered help, certainly. Yeah. Right. right. And being yeah. able to know when you're at your limit and where do you delegate? How do you delegate? I mean, I think even just hiring that first employee, like what a relief that probably was. And extra pressure, too. Yeah, no, for sure. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah cuz that's was, like, oh wait, I got to like we got to make sure her paycheck is always yeah, getting right. Yeah, taken her care success of. is my success. Right. Absolutely. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. She's super eager and she, you know, it's really exciting. That's it's great. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Okay, so with the rebranding, mm-hmm. is it chicmommy.com or is it caracollective.com? Caracollective.com. Okay, great. Yeah. And okay. that's how people can find you. Yes. And let's say they are in New York City or Gulfstream, Florida. Mm-hmm. How do they buy your stuff? On our website. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, so we have our website. And Kara spelled interesting. It's K-H-A-R-A. Oh, and then right. with the rebrand, um, I did keep collective spelled with a C. I didn't do oh, it. Oh, nice. Okay. So I, that question right. gets asked a lot too. I'm oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Her name collective. is spelled interestingly, and I like it spelled the way it's spelled. And I like collective spelled the way it's supposed to be right. spelled. Oh, yeah. So that's just me. Yeah. And Instagram, you know, we don't have a big following. Um, I'd say there's there's certain revenue, you know, or certain, right. not revenues, avenues, and channels, yeah. channels and stuff like that. Instagram, we have, like, it's just fun. We have people, like, it works. It's Post great. a picture. Well, I think I mean, 
specifically with your target demographic, I would imagine that Instagram is probably a great channel for you to showcase any new uh, products that you have, right? And totally. things of that nature. And when you think about all the women that are purchasing it for all different reasons, whether it's for themselves or for gifts, that's where they're Right, and if exactly. they love what you have to provide, you're like a go-to resource for them. So that's a great yeah, way to stay I fresh. Was saying, like, thanks for allowing me to be your go-to. Yeah, yeah, yeah terrific. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, so final question. Okay, what's your grace? It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you girls set the tone for this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Grace>. <laughs> um, something that at first came. It, I thought about this as um, um, having a giving heart. Yeah. And um, I know you girls follow that same path. Right. But um, I will say, just giving. Um, giving. I, something I've been saying to my son since he was no, this big. That. I'm like, when you have more to give, not only you should, you have to. Right. Like sometimes it's time, sometimes it's money, sometimes it's both. Right. Yeah. Um, so it's just love. Sometimes it's love. I'm like, when you, you give, you always receive, but never give to receive. But when you give, Mm -hmm. It always comes back around. So I'd say that's my grace. I love that. I love <laughs> that. You. And you've certainly given us the gift of your time and sharing yeah, your you. story. And I really do believe it's so inspirational for so many women out there who might share something similar, right? Like maybe they, they're going through a divorce and they're trying to figure out what that next step is. They don't want to have to go back to that nine to five. Well, they want to start something from their home, even if they're not going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think what you have done as a woman is sure. so powerful. Because so many people want to do something that they can do on the side mm -hmm. while they're raising their family. Yeah. I think it's phenomenal. And feel like they have something they can call their own. Right. Yeah. And you have to love it too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to. It has mm -hmm. to be a reason to be. Absolutely. Yeah. What a gift yeah, that is sure. too. When you right. can do something you love and you know that you can provide, that's, mm -hmm. that's the best of everything. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, thank you for thank sharing you. your story. Thanks for having me. We're yeah, so we love it. We're super so grateful. Much. So for those of you that are listening, you can check out Kara Collective. That's K-H-A-R-A -A collective.com <laughs> to get any gift that you need for anybody in your life or for yourself. Especially um, for yourself. Especially for yourself. Absolutely. And then for um, those of you that are listening, make sure that you subscribe on Spotify so you can continue to listen to the Face Your Grace like podcast. Us. Yeah, like us. Make Maybe sure you really like good us. things. Maybe even put a few <laughs> reviews in. Well, yeah, yeah, we love some reviews. Kate's but funny. more than that, go to YouTube, <laughs> search Face Your Grace podcast, and make sure you subscribe and like that because that helps us to get the word out there to share these incredible stories of female entrepreneurs we're super grateful for Kara for you joining us today and sharing your story. And we are grateful for you for listening. We hope Thank you found you. something from this that you can take away and become a successful entrepreneur. And we are here for you at Face Your Grace along your journey. So thanks for joining. Women with ideas become entrepreneurs. <laughs>